ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Talk Shop Show. Today, as usual, we have a very, very interesting guest. Yes, hello everybody. Erica Aguilar here from Complete CU Services, and we have the pleasure today to have Mr. Daniel Johnson, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Innovation Credit Union. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you. I really appreciate um, you guys inviting me to your show. And and any time that I can, you know, talk about the pretty new system and innovation, I'm always uh, glad to do so. So thank you very much. In terms of uh, bricks and mortar, traditionally in our strategic planning in financial institutions, that was, you know, one of the the uh, greatest ways to uh, create a larger footprint with the pandemic is it's advanced our uh, our behavior by about 10 years, if not more. Was if maybe you wanted to open up branches in other uh, different provinces, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know, I think oddly enough, the, um, the pandemic actually won't have an impact on our strategy with respect to um, delivery channels. And, and I'll go back in time a little bit here. Um, you know, we invested in some technology a few years back to be able to leverage our talent no matter where they existed. And, and pre-pandemic was in our 20 some locations. So if, if everyone was busy here in Swift Current and they weren't so busy in Mancota or Buffalo Narrows, our technology would hunt for capacity. So that allowed us to really take the conversation away from the, um, you know, the whole notion of, do we need to close locations? You mentioned it earlier, Pierre, about, about um, you know, banks closing locations. We don't talk about that a lot anymore because even though they might be slower, or the traffic is diminished to the point of where you typically close, we can now access that talent through our technology. So we don't have to have a, a larger conversation about closure because we have a lot of talented individuals in all of our locations. We can now access them through technology. So as we become federal, we're looking to double our membership, double, not replicate. And what I mean by that is we want to bring on, double our membership, but we want to bring on members that do not want locations, members that view banking as something you do, not a destination, members that, um, that just want to deal with you on their phone or their tablet. Because if we can find those members, those true digital bankers, then we don't have to worry about you know, building locations or leasing space. We can, we can work with them through our technology. At the same time we're doing all this, we're, we're doing a massive double down on our digital spend and efforts to get the proper enterprise environment to be able to deploy that strategy. So I, I believe, um, and we're starting to see that, I think we'll see it more, that, that, that physical locations are becoming more and more um, less important to consumers. Um, they found new ways and they trust the new ways to do business. And that's through digital means. But we don't wanna obligate them to, to pick that. We just want them to choose whatever channel they want and then and then we'll be able to, to serve the member. So the, the pandemic has shifted behavior, but it was in line with our strategy going into the pandemic. Um, I think the one thing to consider though is is um, as members don't come in and see you anymore, how do, we, how do we continue the relationship? How do we build business, expand the wallet? And that's where our technology um, through Next Best Action and some of our AI technology, we'll be able to have even more interaction with our members digitally than we would if they came into our physical locations. So we're really excited about that. There's a lot of fundamentals, at least uh, I, I'm sure you're experience, experiencing the same thing in terms of uh, real estate uh, values that are increasing in certain parts of your province. Um, Toronto, uh, Vancouver and Calgary, it's a little bit out of control. Uh, in our area, Toronto, uh, the average home uh, 50 kilometers away from downtown Toronto is 1.1 million, which is completely absurd. Um, and then we look at, you know, the, the, uh, 
the younger generations that perhaps didn't have the same chances that we did when we were that age, where we could buy a house, which was not much more than renting an apartment. Um, and they're coming out of university with uh, $100,000 in debt, student loans. They got to rent something which costs them, you know, $2,000 to $3,000 a month. They can't seem to gather up the cash. Do you think that the regulations in, in Canada and perhaps should be some lobbying in terms of how we determine and how we use due diligence to actually adjudicate some of our credits to be more in tune and involved evolved with the current markets what are your thoughts on that yeah i mean i mean that was the that was the game plan you know pre-pandemic when there was these red hot markets happening and they in introduced some of these new rules around qualification and you know and, and ownership and I think it helped throttle back some of that but uh, it's interesting because as as um, we're seeing that happen again probably even you know more exaggerated um, we're not seeing as much of the you know the lobbyers or even the financial institutions saying hey you guys need to, to put in some rules here to throttle this back we're starting to see more of that now where you see some of the financial institutions kind of uh, indicate um, we need to do something here because it's not it's not a it's not a good long-term scenario as you described it it's it's going to be um, a ripple effect for a generation and it could be quite catastrophic never mind um you know you know getting into some sort of a potential bubble that you know that could um disrupt confidence in the consumer just as we're coming out of a prolonged pandemic. So I, I think there should be, you know, some more components to throttle back some of this, this activity because it's, it's just not, it's just not adding up in a lot of cases, as you indicated. Um, however, you, you just have to like anything balance it. Um, and you do want to get the economy started in some form or fashion. I don't know if this is the, you know, the right, engine um to, to rely on at this point i think it's i think it's time to to look at some ways to, to throttle this back for sure so you have enjoyed the show you have enjoyed all the episodes we invite you to contact innovation credit union mr daniel johnson or ourselves pierre jean galang erica aguilar all our contact information are going to be posted here in the videos and each episode and each Post. Coming soon in any province across Canada for you. <laughs>